see its home both places. I really see that the Western perspective is also oriented towards here and there. Yes, you made it clear. This is home to you too, right? You know, that's, that's, why, that's, why, that's why generations have a hard time identifying the culture because there's so much exposure now. It's hard to live the culture. It's hard to be disciplined enough to, like with Papa, um, and, and, and the way he was taught, yeah, for four years old. But now there's so much, so much avenues that you got to go to just to survive in this part of the world that uh, it's, it's hard, hard part for, 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 for students to do that, yeah? And to live the culture. Learning navigation is not going on every night. And just watching stars and jumping on a canoe every couple of days and feeling the ocean. You live it every single day. And with that, along with navigation comes everything else. Because you're learning all the elements and how to utilize elements, plants and everything. So with Papa, he's not... He's a navigator, grandmaster navigator, but he's, he's also he's also very very knowledgeable in la la pa'al. Very very knowledgeable in planting, how to use the moon and everything for planting, for fishing, for building the survival. But they, but because he he lived the culture, he lived it every day. With us, we live it a little while. We jump in the car with KTA buy something for drink or go on 7-Eleven. These guys, you go to the island no more. The 7-Eleven is a coconut tree. Did you make your own senate? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Senate is uh, every year they make senate. Here, because Senate is like gold in Hawaii, right? Well, because plenty Senate in, in a store. <laughs> in Hong Kong. By the time it's no more store, they make the Senate every day because they use for the tennis, use for the house. Do you see your island becoming more, um, with more conveniences? More what? Uh, more modern things. More modern things? Are there, are there mm -hmm. more mod modern things coming to your island that make No. So no electricity? No. They use, the light is, they use the lamp. Carcine lamp. They use the coconut oil before, no time ago. They burn the coconut oil in the land? Oh no, kerosene. They, they boil the, the coconut uh, milk. They come oil. They, they use that for uh, light. And cooking is all? Cooking is uh, fire. They make fire. No stoves, no. But this time they use stoves. Before, no more stone, they used to fire. This time it's they used to fire. You must be the most well-traveled person on your island. <laughs> huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we, we can have bread with we little whipsy. Huh? The Holy Visit is people's conference. Then, half a true World Indigenous People program, at, um, the, the, the World Indigenous People program on education, Mao comes in. So we get back Sunday from uh, Kilo. And Monday we start the, uh, we're doing uh, the, the, the Micronesian voice of Kano. So it's boom, 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 boom. And in the process of doing that, we're talking about building his Kano for Micronesian. That's a good thing to do. Thank you for all that you, you've done, even for people that you don't even know, like people like me and I, I'm not, 
you know, I'm not a canoe person or anything, yeah. but you really enrich my life. I mean, everyone, everyone's life. Not that you made it, but you know, the reason why we do it. Yes. Yeah. And I thank people say, well, how come you, you know, especially with me, Charlie, Charlie, and something? He's so dedicated to this man. You have to sit on the yeah. top there. Yeah, I know. And then also ask him, what is, why are you guys, especially with me, why am I so adamant about the culture? But, you know, when you go to the island like where he's from, when you go home to settle on, you know what? Still, so very important. Language is intact, the cultural system, spiritual system is intact. And you know the best thing about it? They can survive without anybody being there. Wow. They don't need the rest of the world. You know, they're self sufficient. One of the most awesome things for us was us being able to sit in the, in, in the canoe, the men's house in Sarawang. And uh, after being told stories about home for so many years, and then to be able to sit there, and to be able to sleep there, and, and, and allow to dream and feel a presence you know, When you go back and you be teaching? No, in my island. On your island? Yeah. I don't, but I don't know, somebody might put me in one of them. Teach everybody in one of them. I don't know, when I go home, I can't see that what they do. You must know everyone on the island. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> the time to go my place, go to one of them. First time the people in Poland, they know that church. Because before nobody do that, they thought, see, they see the church, they, they think, oh, maybe we grab him, stay here. <laughs> they will go to him, I <laughs> they want to hey, hey, hey. I go home first then. You guys thinking about me. Now I like go home. Then, I think the people in Chuk, my family in Chuk is they say, can you stay here? Oh, maybe I go home first. And I me start teaching in Chuk. That's why when I come back from Saipan, the chief in my land, they told me, you never go somewhere, you stay there and start teaching that. Young men. But when I was there before the trip to my commission, every Friday I teach a young man in my. So it's mostly men, the males, who learn that. You want the women?